Welcome to season 2 of my Farming Simulator Organic Farming series. In the series I focus on organic and as environmentally friendly farming as possible. This means that we'll for example be avoiding using things like herbicides and fertilizer using more natural and better for the environment methods. We will also be doing things like no tilling, where you limit cultivation and plowing to the absolute minimum, or don't do it at all, and use direct drilling, which is better for the environment and the earth. I should say that this is a continuation of season 1, but it is not required to watch that before watching this one. We were originally on the map Elm Creek, but I didn't really enjoy that map and wanted to move to a bit of a more cooler and fitting location and environment for the series. So instead of starting all over, our equipment and animals has been transported like we've actually moved, and we have moved to the old stream farm. One big change is that we now have precision farming installed, which is going to fit perfectly with our goal of organic farming. We'll take a closer look at that later today, as well as when it's relevant throughout the series. Now, as you can see, we do have money from selling our old farm and fields. However, to be exact, 155,000 euros. However, we currently only own the farm yard, so new fields and equipment must be purchased carefully. If we take a look over here and press X, you can see we only own the square right here with this tiny little field here. So we have fields to purchase today, as well as a little bit of equipment. But, so if, but first things first, here is our equipment. This is our fleet basically just landed and it's time to transport all of this stuff down to our farmyard and yeah, go on a little bit of a tour. There are a few things that has not followed over yet, that would be the bees and our greenhouses. Most likely they will be sold and we can buy new ones here. But, let's not waste any more time and get to work. So, like I said, this is our stuff right here. We have a trailer, we have a direct drill, that's a mod. I will try and list the mods down, that we use down below in the description. We also, I do believe we have a... No, that is not a... that's a roller? Yes, I think that's a roller. We also have a little bit of seed and lime, a weight, we have a trailer here, we have a weeder, and we have some stuff here for the uh, front loader, we have a water tanker, and we actually do have this harvester right here, which is really going to save us money when we actually go ahead and need to harvest. But that is one issue right there, that is this header. This is a very narrow map, or the roads are very narrow, so the first thing that we need to go ahead and do is to actually go ahead and check out the things that we own. Well, first of all, the used machinery sale. See if they have anything interesting. I don't think they do though. Um, so the headers we have right here is this one. So combinations, we can buy one of these two. And I'm just gonna go for the cheapest. Um, don't know, spare wheel, that would be cool. But we really need to save as much money as we possibly can. So that has been bought. Uh, perfect, I think it is attached to this side, so if I... Yeah, that's not gonna be easy to get the combine back here, but I'm sure we'll figure it out. I'm sure we will figure it out. Also, the majority of our time will be spent indoors, just because I like the realism of being inside the cab and not outside, but we will, of course, switch in between those. So let's get this out of the way. The more of this stuff that we have moved, the better for the combine to be able to get space enough. So let's put this here. Let's see if I can get the combine in and get that header. <laughs> it's gonna be a bit of a squeeze, I think, but uh, here we go. Let's try. So I think the easiest is going to be to drive out, back around, and then attach it if possible. Yeah, so back here, I think we should have enough space for this. Yeah, plenty of room. Look at this. Just back it up a bit. Yep, perfect. There we go. And now my tractor is actually in the way for the maneuver that I wanted to do. I could actually go ahead. I don't know how well it's actually going to do it. But if I go here, I should be able to take this and I should be able to go to this one. Take this, and I should be able to say create job, or actually, no, cancel, set destination, right here. And it should be going. Obviously, I'm paying for that. Also, time will be 
of the time. We'll remove the map for now. Uh, the time will be set to most like most of the time 15, 30, something like that. So we actually get from sunrise to sunset. So we actually have that a little bit more realistic time of day. So we actually might actually have to work through the night in order to get jobs done. I think that's good there. Yep. <laughs> Just magically snaps into place. But that should be good. So I should be able to attach this or I might have to use the tractor. Uh, I can't see a thing with these mirrors. There we go, has completed the task, that's good. I should be able to just go all the way back. There we go. Perfect. Uh, that's not gonna work. This turn is not going to work. Let's see. Okay, I might have to go into drone view here. Oh, I never attached it, that would explain it. Okay, attach now. Now I just have to back it up so I have a little bit more maneuvering room. I think that's good. Only one way to find out. Uh, I think we're alright. Yes, we are good, ladies and gentlemen. Hooey! Yeah, uh, we should probably... What's the button again for... Yeah. Hazard lights. Definitely need the hazard lights on for this stuff. I don't even know if we can get onto this road. Uh, hello. Good morning. Okay. Yep. There we go. Okay. <laughs> this is heavy machinery, but as you can see, the roads are quite small. So... Yeah, good thing we don't have something that's bigger. But yeah, this map is just a lot more, I feel, populated, not in the sense of, well, yes, people and houses and whatnot, but also details, bushes, roads, things like that. I absolutely love it. The old map that we were on were good, but it was too open, not that much activity or traffic. It wasn't really what I was looking for. This, on the other hand, I'm absolutely loving it and really, really excited for this. Right. Uh, we will have to park this here until I have actually moved my tractor. That's a, it, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> Moving in and I'm already causing traffic issues. But this right here is our farm. This is our farm. We have three entrances. I'll pull up the minimap so you can see. We have one entrance right there. This door actually opens up to our garage. Which if we ever get like a pickup truck or something, we can put it right here. Which is perfect. We have this, which leads into our house. So maybe we can have a smaller, maybe a John Deere. Uh, don't remember what they're called, but one of those small, small things. We have another gate there, but we also have a gate over here, which for larger trailers and things like that, I think is going to be easier to manage. Just drive straight in. Now, three things already before I continue. First of all, we have chickens. They have followed us over from the previous map and they are now free range. But to look at that, but not only that, our sheep are here. We do have sheep here. We have eight sheep to be specific and, or to go in details. And right here, if we go into this and go down to the animal section, right here, you can see our sheep and our chickens right here. Sheep, they don't have any food. We need to give them food because, well, they need food. <laughs> but I do have some grass bales over by the shop. Uh, yeah, that, they're really going to be beneficial until we can get some grass ourselves. Now, uh, parking this trailer is going to be... Let's park it under the silo because that's where it's going to be needed anyway. Let's park it right here. This is our silo. We might actually already have some stuff in here. But transfer it over. I would assume that we do... Uh, where would it be? This. Yeah, we do have some barley. We also do have some canola, which is primarily sold in December or best prices in December. We are in August, so we're actually not too far away. So that's, that's perfect. Um, right. So I could, in theory, use a, um, 
use an assistant to get the tractor back to the store, but I'm not gonna do that. Because, again, we do need all the money that we can get. I'm also going to turn on... Where's my button for it? There we go. Hazard lights. Very important. This sign reminds me, actually, we also do need to apply for subsidy. Municipal subsidy, I'm pretty sure. Which is going to give our farm a little bit of passive income to keep us rolling here in the startup phase. Which is something that we had in Season 1, because we're doing organic farming and stuff, it would make sense that we are getting support from the state. And well, the question is, where am I going to place this beast? And how am I going to park it? It has the chicken salad. <laughs> it just ran. Yeah, I don't... Uh, I don't like parking these, looking back as if it's there for me to see. I think I'm just going to place it here for now. Because we are probably going to be doing how... Uh oh. How on earth did I manage that? Alright, this will have to do for now. Bit tricky that was, but I think this will do. Okay, turn off the engine. All right, I think this will do for now. It's because of this linkage when, like when you back up, this turns the opposite side, opposite way, but then this also turns the opposite way and then my brain just goes, yeah, how, no, <laughs> no. All right, but here we are back in the tractor. Let's get the next thing. And then I think I'm probably going to do a time lapse of moving the rest of the equipment because otherwise it's probably going to be a bit boring watching me do all of that. Almost forgot to indicate. Hello, good morning, good sir. Right, let's get back to the store. Not only will it be boring to watch me do the entire thing in real time, but also we have jobs to do. We need to buy fields, we need to feed the sheep. We need to buy some new equipment that we're going to be needing, uh, both today and also for the, throughout the remaining of the series. <laughs> but let us grab now the cedar and attach. And do I have seed there? Yeah, might as well fill it with seed before we go, because we will be needing it for at some point. No need in moving those bad pallets if I if I can just fill it here. So check for traffic. Yep, we look to be good. Let's turn in over here this time. Oh yeah, right. Let's play the game of evading the chickens at all cost. And this I should be able to just bag up in here. I think. Yeah, this should be doable, no problem. <clears throat> I'm very rusty. I haven't played this in a long time. That is my excuse and I'm sticking to it. There we go. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. Perfect. Look at that. Except the cover is still up. How do we unfold, select, unload? Huh. I can't apparently. Well, I'm fine with that. Let us initiate time lapse of moving everything down. This shouldn't... Well, it is probably going to take quite a bit because I only have one tractor and can move one thing at a time. But yes, I'll see you in a few. All right, that is pretty much everything except for this weight, which I am attaching the wrong way around. <laughs> except for this weight, the water tanker, and that bag of lime, which we might just sell. We might just sell it because on this map there's actually a buy point for lime, which is going to be very handy. 
Um, so yeah, we might just sell that. Uh, don't really want that laying around, or we might just leave it. I'm sure the store owners won't mind us leaving that in the corner for when we need it, because we probably will very soon. But anyway, let's attach this. And this is going to be our second last time that we need to go to the store today, because we do need to buy one vital piece of equipment that is with precision farming that we're going to be needing well, almost instantly. As soon as we buy a field and have the field harvested, we need that specific equipment. And then it's time to buy some fields as well. But so far, settling in, very good. We gave the sheep some food, which is great. Uh, I need to check the, if the chickens actually have food, because they might not. Which is an issue, so I'll need to actually attach to the trailer that is right under the silo. And then give them some. Because we want eggs and also, of course, healthy chickens. Now that I think about it, I don't think the sheep has... Oh wait, the sheep must have water, right? Let's check. The sheep must have water because there is a... Yes, water is not an issue because they have a water pond right in there. The chickens, however, they do need grain. So we need to take care of that right away. I'll leave the water trailer right here in the shade. That should be fine being outside. And you know what? The weight fits perfectly right here. Lower it. And detach. Beautiful. Right, let's make sure the chickens have food attached to this. And let us... Yeah, we don't want to unload. We want to... There we go. Start filling. Start filling with what? Wheat. Yes. Uh, barley. Let's just get all of it. Don't know how much they require, don't know how much they can actually take. But we are about to find out. Don't know, it should pop up when I can unload. Don't know if that's there or if that is where the eggs will spawn. It might be here. Yeah, it, it might actually be there. Uh, let's find out. There we go. Unload. Let's see how much they take. They might take all of it. I would imagine they take all of it. Nope, they didn't. They actually didn't take all of it. Okay. So that is that taken care of. Not gonna leave the trailer here though. That would be inconvenient for them. So let's put the trailer away and let's go on to the next job, which is, I think, getting the subsidy sign down. Before the office for that closes, because I can imagine that is something that would happen. <laughs> All right, let's uh, unload this into the silo because leaving it out is not ideal. Detach, and let's go into the shop. Into the shop. That's our garage. We need to go to uh, construction, I think. Into construction. Production? No, buildings. Maybe production. Selling points. Generators. I think it's under ES. Government subsidy, that's not the one. Municipal subsidy, that is the one that we need. And I want to place it... Okay, that's... Turning that around, turn this... Oh, it's going crazy. Yeah, let's place it, like, right here, I think would be nice. Boom. Perfect. I think that is great. So we now have been uh, accepted into the subsidy program. We can close this if we wish. Bye bye. Right. Next piece of work is to buy the. I'm not actually sure what it goes under. Miscellaneous, I think. Yes, this thing right here. It is expensive, considering the amount of money that we have. But we need this in order to manually scan our fields to see the soil type. So I'm just gonna outright buy it immediately. Get the paint over with because we are going to be needing it. We could buy it from the map, but then that starts becoming a lot of money that we need to do, and yeah, and yeah. We'll just buy it. Buy it ourselves, and then that's going to be the most optimal, I think. Well, normally I turn left there, but I'm gonna turn right, because I'm pretty sure that we can take a little bit of a scenic route this way around to the store. What does that say? Livestock. Larson's livestock. Got it. 
that's not where we're going, but it's in this direction. Look at all these small fields. I think we can turn left next time and we'll land directly in the shop. Yep, right there. Perfect. And this should lead directly to the shop. And there it is, our brand new piece of machinery. I think that is actually the first time we've bought a brand new piece of machinery. I could be wrong. It might be our second one, but I mean, it looks like an expensive piece of kit right here. Don't know if we're going to be using it today. I believe you use it after you have harvested. And our fields are, well, our field is not harvested, so we might not be using it until a couple of episodes later. But now we have it, which is good. Now we just need to buy some fields. There's our brand new sign right there, looking good. Loving it. Now I think this thing I'm just going to place right here in the corner. I think that's going to be a nice place for it. Lower it. Maybe back a little bit more. There we go. Detach. Let's cut the engine right here because we now need to go ahead and buy some fields. So, if we go into the menu here and go into this, we have some options. Now, ideally, we would want fields that has things growing that we can actually harvest and make some money f off of that. Um, but of course, we only have 130,000 to play around with, which is not much considering some of the pricing for these fields. I think two fields are what we are going to be realistically be able to, to buy if we still want to have some things left over. So, it's field number six. Obviously, we want stuff that's close to us. How much is field number five? Four? Five? This one. 90,000. So, we could go for this one. There's also this one, which is a little bit under 90,000. Uh, this one is actually surprisingly bigger than this one, by the looks of it. 1.31 hectares, and this one, 1.19. Okay, that's interesting. Um, those are, however... Yeah, I'm pretty sure... Yeah, they're potatoes. Uh, they're just about done, though. But that would be a lot of money. Uh, that would be a lot of money, harvesting those potatoes. But then again, we could potentially make quite a bit from it. If we find potatoes here... Hmm. Don't know how good of a business that would be. We also have this field down here, field 8, which is corn. And this, which is sugar beet. Number 9 is canola. Okay, and sunflowers. Uh, and number 5 has all of this, like, tree area? Looks to be tree area. Trees not really wanting to get into forestry at the moment. Yeah, that's quite hilly terrain right there. Definitely want this piece of land, but not at the moment with that hilly terrain there. Number six looks nice. That's sunflowers. I haven't done sunflowers yet, so that would be interesting. Uh, so that is an option. Obviously, there are fields outside of ours. There's these fields over here, field like 25. Well, that's a bit big for us, I think. I think getting the ones that are close to us is going to be ideal. What about field number four? That's 120,000. I would rather have two or three small fields rather than one big. So this is sugar beet growing, which would also be a, a, a thing to, uh, <laughs> to harvest using all of this like machinery here. Like if I were to lease this, that's 5,000. I mean, maybe we would make the money back, but it would be an expensive thing. But then again, it's something that I haven't done before. So sugar beet and sunflowers are two very interesting ones. So that is 55,000 and 45,000. That turns into 100,000 for these two fields right here. A field 12 had, I keep pressing the wrong button, oat, which is this one. 60,000, 72,000. Hmm. This is a little bit of an awkward field with this, with the trees right there in the middle. But it would be ideal getting this as it's right by the sheep. Uh, I should probably stop talking and make a decision, huh? I think field 7 and 6. Field 7 and 6, it's going to be that. 
Um, yes. Field 7 and 6. Those are the one. They're our fields now. <laughs> we now own this field, and if we take a look, they are steadily growing. They're not quite done harvesting. Oh, they're gonna have be f ready to harvest at the same time, aren't they? Maybe I should have gotten seven and nine. Could I sell this? Forty-five thousand. I think I would get. Okay, I would get the same amount of money back. Hmm. That's sixty-three. That's twenty thousand more expensive. If we need to lease any equipment or something, we won't have enough. So I think. You know what? I'm satisfied. I'm satisfied with my purchase. Field 7 and 6. They're now ours. Sugar beet. And this one over here. Which is sunflowers. None of which I've ever farmed before. So this is going to be interesting. Now if we go into the map. Into the satellite view here. We can see our environmental score on our different fields. And we'll be able to see the soil types. The pH level and the nitrogen level. And the yield. And the seed rate, etc. Once we actually start using these fields, uh, what do we even have in field number one? Uh, field number one crop type that is. Don't tell me it's potatoes. Sorghum. Okay, yeah, we can we can use that for uh, for the chickens. I'm pretty sure. I think I'm going to turn field one into a grass field for the sheep. And when we don't need grass bales, we can maybe turn it into silage or something. We do have a silage pit, so that might be a possibility. I think this would be a very nice grass field right here, because it's just so small, it's not going to be easy to work on. So I think a gra nice grass field is going to be ideal for this. Man, look at the view. Well, I'm going to close up the gates, because I think we are done for today. Ooh, we have tomatoes, yes. We need to buy greenhouses as well. I'm going to sell the old ones, and we're going to buy a brand new one, I think, for this farm, as well as the bees. But yeah, guys, I think that is going to be it. For this first episode, I really hope you have enjoyed. Hope you're excited for this series. Oh yeah, by the way, a few more details. Uh, crop destruction is going to be on. Also, we're going to be doing one month per episode until we, if we grow really, really big and just can't manage it, we'll move it so that we have multiple days a month. Um, but yeah, for now, one day is equal to one month. I think that is going to be sufficient for now. Can be really. Oh, we have our first eggs. Look at that. That's awesome. Do we have our first wall? Let's take a quick look. Oh, we do. We actually do. That's awesome. The farm is already in business. Guys, I really hope you have enjoyed this episode. If you did, be sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're new so you don't miss the next episode. And I hope to see you in the next one where we're going to be doing more farming. Hopefully the sorghum is ready to harvest and we can turn that into a grass field. That would be epic. But anyways, like I said, hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day and until next time. Goodbye.